Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you, you are today. Um, <laughs> so, I wasn't going to do a video today, uh, obviously, based off of what I'm wearing. Um, but I found... I had some things pulling on my heart. So I'm meeting you over my lunch. Hello. <laughs> Anywho. So I was just sitting out there um, last night. I finished the book. Ah, I'm happy. I like finishing the book. Okay. Yes. Yes. They see that. Good job. Good job. You're having lunch also with Miss Lorna. Okay. So. She might interrupt us a little bit. Don't like to. But. Okay, so the book I have finished is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Excuse me while I adjust my camera a bit. I'm trying to like, not get you guys blinded by the light. Unless you want to be. That's up to you. Okay. Yes, they see that. That's your water bottle. Good job. Yes. Yes, she's trying to show you her lunch. Is a, her lunch is a very healthy little lunch. You know? Uh, that can and then this bottle of water that's all that is just water not juice i reuse things until they no longer can function for what they're here for anywho i finished the book rich dad poor dad my review mm. 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 okay so why do i love it and why do i think that those negative critics out there need to just button it. See, I'm a big person on, can you please? I'm a big person on learning. You know, you don't, if you were looking to Rich Dad Poor Dad to sit there and find the cure, magic bullet to sit there and solve all your money problems, he's basically trying to tell you Couple things. One big thing is learn. No matter what you do, something. <laughs> You're cute. Can you sit down? Sit down now, please. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so a couple things he wants you to learn. It is, you know, it's learn. Learn, 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 learn. Can you please, Lori? Okay, I am a big person on learning. I love that. I mean, okay, I don't like the education system. The public education system is mm, yeah, not my favorite place in the world. If you want to know, I mean, if I was, I pray I could homeschool my kids one day. All of them. I love them. But can you sit down now? Mom gets tough. Mom's a meanie head. Okay, so the public education system fails in a couple of big ways. We have removed life skills. We demand children memorize these facts that by the time they graduate high school, there is some new way for it to be for it to be done. So by the time they enter the workforce after they go through college, their skill sets completely obsolete. So nobody really does anything. I would teach my children. How to learn, how to be adaptable, how to be moldable, how to sit there and take a raw product and turn it into seriously. You know, how do you sit there and say it any other way? You know, take your raw product and turn it into something that will produce you money for generations to come you know had I really thought about it my mom was a really good teacher hats off to you mom 
She taught me to learn and always be learning. That it doesn't matter what is in the world around you. The only thing that does matter, okay? And this is my personal life. I'm not saying it's, it's for everybody. No, no, no. Okay, my personal life, two things matter more than anything else in the entire universe. Well, three. Relationship. A relationship with Elohim, my children. For now, that's it. <laughs> I have issues with other relationships. Friendship. You know, get to know people, be in with people. You know, people are the lifeblood. You can't make a dime if you have, if you don't, okay. You can't make a dime if you're not interacting with others. Because they receive a dime and they give it to you. Who then you take that dime and you give it to somebody else. Who then gives it to somebody else. Who gives it to somebody else. Money is so fluid. Finances are so fluid that, you know, you can sit there and... Um, excuse me, I gotta check time here. I can't... <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna have an alarm go off here in a second. Okay, so money is fluid and it money depends on who you know. There's the alarm. <laughs> who you know. So if you only know people who don't have money, you're not going to have money. If you only know people who have tons of money, I'm not saying you're going to have tons of money. I'm saying... You will learn that mindset of money. You know, who you associate with is who you are. If you continually, I mean, you want to sit in a pile of poop, don't complain about it. Because the cat will come along and eat you. Okay? But if you are willing to take a step out, take a step forward, and... Put effort into your life to negotiate a deal to where your life is saved, even if it's by a dollar. Awesome. You know, um, that's the thing. Sorry, I was just thinking about something random. <laughs> if you watched my video the other day, you know why I was just thinking about something random. Um, okay. Um, so, who you know helps your mindset. Okay, so relationship. The next thing is learning. You must have an open mind. You must, you must sit there and realize that the ebb and flow of information, it was a shallow pool when my parents, who were born in the 50s, my parents, the tide was predictable. You knew when you knew when the information was coming in and you knew when the information was coming out. It was predictable. Nowadays <laughs> Seriously? Can you predict when the market is going to change? Can you tell me when they're gonna come up? with a new way to teach 
kids how to read, it seems like every, every time I turn around, there's a new way for kids to learn how to read. I was like, please, stop. Okay? Learn. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. I love public libraries. I do. I can't afford to buy book after book after book after book after book after book for all the interests that come into this brain box of mine. Okay? I can't afford that. I can't afford to I can't afford to sit there and go to public college or go to a college or a university. It's just not 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 not, not doable, not feasible at this time. But you know what I can do? And I do this all the time. I research. I go out there and I type in random questions. I look for subjects that I'm interested in or that caught my attention for some strange reason. And I go pursue them. Now, I understand, you know, you guys sit there and say, well, you know, you are on disability, you have multiple sclerosis, you are... <laughs> that doesn't mean I have any more time than you do. I still have the same 124 hours in a day. Eight of those hours? No. I have to devote 10 hours to sleep? Seriously? 10 hours. If I don't? Yeah. Not good. Not pretty. Yeah, those are slippers. You're cute. <laughs> yeah, Mickey Mouse. <coughs> you know, I have the same tw same 24 hours. I have to devote more time to sleep. I can't, I mean, I have housework I have to do. I have children I'm chasing. I have That's things cute. that, I mean, related cute. to children. I have... I have certain so, things on my agenda I have to do outside so. of learning for myself. I mean, at the same time, I am trying to... Yes, see, those are her slippers. Those are her slippers. Yes, you're cute. <laughs> Lori, I said stop. Long time ago. Go... Sit down and eat. Or did you eat it all already? She ate it all. No, almost. You know, I, I have, my time's not less valuable than yours. I, I, the only thing is, is I don't have to put in t hours to a company where there's a boss standing over my shoulder telling me that my work is subpar. Or that I did something wrong. Or, you know, I don't have a boss. I mean, even a boss who sits there and says, Oh, you're so awesome. You're so awesome. You're so awesome. You know what? They're, gonna, they're trying to keep me sucked into their company because they don't want to lose me. They don't want to sit there and have to retrain somebody. They don't want to have to sit there and... I mean, every time they can't focus on what they have to do for their company, they lose out on productivity and money. You know, it's like, what if your job was to continually, you, you had to hire a housekeeper every week because, can I please get you to get off the table? Please. I love you too. Mwah. You know, people sit there. If you had to hire a housekeeper every day or every week, 
you would not be able to go to work. You would not be able to take care of your kids. You wouldn't be able to have fun. You wouldn't be able to go out and play your little video game that you play, whatever it might be. World of Warfare, Minecraft, Pokemon Go, whatever it is, you wouldn't have time to do that. You don't have time to do that if you have to focus on rehiring somebody. Well, and I'm stuck in a boat here. I am looking to rehire somebody. But, the person I'm looking to rehire, I'm not going to rehire the same person again. No, that's okay. He, he totally messed it up. He messed it up for everybody. It made it really difficult. I love you. Can you please get down? My rehiring job that I have to rehire somebody to sit there and help me to take care of the kids. I have a vacancy available. Get off my own. I have a vacancy available. Four kids. No man. Mm. But I'm very particular oh, in the, filling this job position. Okay? So, learning. Okay? Three things. Relationship. Learning. And... Morality. Let's just put it that way. Morality. My moral basis, my moral code is in the Bible. The Holy Bible. Writ inspired word of Elohim through the Rohek HaKadosh. Blah, 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 blah. That's my moral guide. I don't care what you use. If it, makes, if it makes it so that you can deal with me and work with me peaceably, great. As long as there's peace, we're good. Your moral code is your moral code. If your moral code makes it so that everywhere you go there's a conflict, well then that's probably not the moral code you need to have. Your moral code should probably be something different. Just... I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. You know, morals, ethics, background. Okay? That's a very short one. I must have gone off track on the other subject, huh? Interesting. So, you know, those are the three things that I sit there and see are very important. Okay, to having a successful life, to having a prosperous life, to being... To having a life that rocks is awesome okay three things relationship who are you in relationship with besides your blood relatives who are you in relationship with what are their attitudes and you know if you can I mean are you continually adding to your relationships or are you just kind of like plateau or declining in some cases. I've had those. Okay. Second one. Learning. Are you learning? Or did you graduate high school and say, Whoa, no more! Graduate college. Alright! No more! Those who probably hold the highest degrees watching this probably know you stop learning. You don't plateau. You start declining. 
So you have to be continually learning. Or you don't grow. I don't think there's a time where anybody stops growing. Third thing. Moral code. What is your moral code? What's your code of ethics? What is the code that operates your life? Robots function off of codes. The programmer comes in there, types out this. If it was this long, <laughs> we'd all be happy. <laughs> no! The code for anything is like five, six, more million pages, million words, whatever. It like goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I did learn um, some web page coding back in the days before GoDaddy. Okay? Before GoDaddy and everything like that. I was in high school and they I did learn a little bit of like web page programming. <laughs> we'll, we'll clean it up later. The one thing that really, I mean, it, it shows you just how much goes into this. If you were to type just one line of code into a notepad and turn that into a web page, you might change the color of the page. That's it. You might change. You might put a, a title at the top of the page. That's it. Coding is so much more than a sentence or a few characters. It is. So I can't code. <laughs> too much of the brain power. Anywho, you know, but it takes code for the web page to work. The web, the Google web page. Oh, I don't remember what the trick is, but look it up. There's a trick out there where you can sit there and you can find, there's like a back door to where you can find the code that makes Google, web, Google search work. Flip to it. Sit there and take on one side of the web page as it's published as you pull it up on your screen. On the other side, the code it takes for it to work. That's why we have this. We have this because this? Huh. I wouldn't be able to tell you where to begin or where to end. It's just that way. Things are, yeah. It takes a lot of code to make simple things work. So, don't have a simple code for how you work. The simpler your code, the less you can do. Give me a minute. Whoa, okay. So, your code's simple. You can't do very much. If your code is complex, if you can't complete 20 things in a day, your code's not complex enough. I gotta finish eating because I gotta go pick up some kids. But when we, we sit there and you you, do, you sit there and be negative on rich dad, poor dad, what you're doing is you're not learning. He's trying to tell you you need to set up, you need to learn. You want to be rich? It's not an overnight magic bullet. I picked up a couple of things. He said, for him, 
his thing was real estate. Not everybody has real estate. For me, it might be the stock market, God forbid. But as a high school student, I realized I was talented. I just ignored it. I love ignoring my talents. Because then they can sit there and um, fester and stew and bug me forever. Alright. Yes, I'm a sadist. I don't like myself some days. Anyways, <clears throat> rich dad, poor dad, all Robert, I'm just going to call him Robert because I will butcher his name. All Robert was trying to say is learn and learn certain things, find your niche, your money making niche, or your, the niche that you can manage money, making money for you. And learn how to manage your own finances. I'm sorry if I give this away and he doesn't want, he, this is bad news, but the biggest thing in the book, financial literacy. Financial literacy will get you to the moon and back without losing oxygen. Learn how to manage your finances. Remember relationships are important. Remember to continue learning. Keep learning. No matter what's going on in your life, learn. You stop learning and I, I feel sorry for you. Um, figure out your code. I put relationships and learning before code because your code is dependent on relationships and learning and your code will change. Okay? Those you're in relationship with, negative, positive input, the input determines what you value, where you are. Um, what you learn determines what path you take. I mean, nobody likes to be hung drum all day. So, figure out what is sound and work with it. I'm going really anti-biblical right now because I really have a couple of things I want to say, but I can't say them because I'm trying not to. I am biblical in a lot of ways. Okay. I test everything to the Bible. I um I learn from the Bible and I learn from many different places. My phone, um, I have several things on there that I learn. Um, several apps and stuff like that. I have several websites I go to to learn. I have lots of things that I learn from. So I learn a lot. I try to keep those people around me who are positive I mean, I, I, I try to keep them around me. They don't like sticking near me because I'm just too open sometimes.
but I keep those who are negative around me too because how do you know what light is without seeing the dark? You gotta know the light and the dark. Okay. You know, it's very interesting. So anyways, I gotta shut this video down. But that was bugging me. I don't like people who are negative on others because, oh, I don't have a million dollars as soon as I stop, as soon as I finish this book, a million dollars were dropped in my lap. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What did you say? <laughs> so, when you close the back cover of the book, you were supposed to have a million dollars? Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> my philosophy on how to, about money, life, how things work, things that, you know, people sit there and don't even realize. Um, there's a lot of things. And like I said, I didn't want to do a video today. I'm not dressed for it, and I like, yeah, I was sitting down to lunch looking at something. <laughs> Oops. Bad idea. Anyways, I was learning about penny stocks. I don't know whether I should take them or not. <laughs> Alright, well, have a nice day. I am so sorry to interrupt you on this wonderful day. I'm sorry to sit there and take up your time, half hour of it. I'm so sorry. I really am. Really, I am. I was finishing my lunch and I might as well. Have a good day. Remember, positivity is great. Keep it positive. And those who are dragging you down, throw a budget cord on them. Maybe you might be able to, when they get down far enough, They'll run out of slack and they'll be sprung right back up to the top. Well, not to the top. To where they were. Okay. So have a good day. God bless. And I'll see you later. Yeah. Child problems.